we have another problem where we want to find how many ordered pairs of integers satisfy the equation x divided by 12 is equal to 12 divided by y. The first thing we need to do is notice that x times y is equal to 144. So what this question is really asking is how many ordered pairs of x and y as integers um, multiply to 144. Most people would just like multiply them out like 1, 144, like find and count all the possible pairs, 2 and 72. This is really, really slow. We're not going to use that today. So what we're going to do is a method. Um, it's not a method that not a lot of people actually know. So what we're going to do here is we have something like like a random thing as x. It can be split into like a different Dif be broken into um, different numbers like a to the power of alpha times b to the power of beta times c to the power of um, gamma um, etc 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 it's good thing to n it's a thing to know that all these bottom numbers are prime numbers so the numbers on the top are just like whatever you can basically the goal is is to split it into prime numbers if you can and find like no matter how much and um, in this case um, to find how many ordered pairs what you do here is you like multiply the power plus one so it's gonna be alpha plus one times beta plus one times gamma plus one etc 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 so that is actually gonna be the strategy we use today and just we need to verify it so let's do it on a random number let's say 12 so 12 if you, if you don't understand this well you can do 12 so 12 oh, I'm sorry that doesn't look so good 12 this is equal to 2 squared times 3. Notice we just broken it up into prime numbers on the bottom. So we want to find the number of combinations. So we, um, since this is the power 2, 2 plus 1 times, this, this is 3 to the power of 1. So 1 plus 1. This is 3 times 2 or 6. And we can just verify that. So 12, um, let's see, are there 12 combinations? There, there's 1, 12. There's also 2 and 6. And there's also 4 and 3. And we can verify. All these can be flipped over. So this is 12 and 1, 6 and 2, and 3 and 4. So there are six combinations here. So now we can use that on this strategy of 144. So now, um, I'll just write. So once you break up 144, you get that it's 2 to the power of 4 times 3 squared. This is still xy. So now you can use the trick that we just did up here. So this is going to be 4 plus 1 times 2 plus 1. This is going to be 5 times 3, which is 15. But that is not yet our answer. We want to find how many ordered pairs of integers, not positive integers, integers. This is the positive integers constraint. So, um, and because, so let's just break it up. So there's 1 and 144. But this can also be written as negative 1 and negative 144. They yield the same re result as 144. So um, therefore, there are actually not 1. Well, you have to multiply 15 by 2 to get the real answer because there are negatives included. So 15 times 2 is 30. So 30 ordered pairs of integers are our, is our answer.